like uh, doing a report on what Catatonia is doing to yeah. the Spanish fans, you know, because uh, the tour is not going there. Exactly, yeah. Okay, so the f first what impressed us was that this is a church, so it's something like unthinkable in, uh, in Spain because uh, they won't allow it to do it. In no, Chile, right, yeah. You know? So, how is the experience for you doing a show here? It's nice, I think it's nice because it's a uh, different setting and we're doing different. Uh, um, the concert is different also right. because we're doing unplugged acoustic yes. stuff, so I think it uh, works out just wonderful to All do right. it here. Yeah. Exactly. So, are you recording some part of this uh, tour for a future release or something like that? Yeah, we're gonna record one of the shows and see where uh, hopefully it can end up as a DVD or something. Right. Yeah. So I was checking the set list for the previous uh, shows and it's uh, well, it's basically the same songs. So are you keeping the same songs for the whole tour? Or you are introducing new songs in some shows? Or um, like no, we actually rehearsed just uh, this set of songs. Uh, we added one yesterday actually because uh, people seem to think it was too short <laughs> the concert. So uh, and then we had to uh, because we have two new guys in the band exactly. on this one. And they hadn't even heard that song before. Right. So it's. Uh, it was a bit, you know, nervous. But it, maybe. It, uh, yeah. They learned it. Yeah. Pretty good, I think. And, and right. So it worked out. So when you were preparing the tour and choosing the songs, did you thought that it was too short, or did you want to include more songs? Or no. Well, since we knew we were gonna have a couple of people learning everything from scratch the ones that they hadn't been yeah. in the band before. We had to keep it just a little, you know, shorter. Exactly. Uh, for them to have time to learn everything. Um, yeah. And we thought it was going to be a, a nice uh, sort of length to it. But yeah, exactly. apparently people want more, which is nice as well. <laughs> yes, and uh, well, it's always a different show because it's like an acoustic one, so people is not used to this. In Catatonia in an acoustic yeah, yeah, way, you yeah, know. Totally. Um, well, for you must be hard with a lot of albums, mm. choosing songs. Um, for example, when people think of Catatonia, they think Evidence, for example, yeah. which is not in no, the set, set list. So, how was for you to choosing this song, this or this song not on the yeah, tour? Yeah, you know, maybe because those songs were in some part acoustic songs, or they were created in an acoustic way, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some of the heavy songs are created so you can actually play them yeah. because it's like full chords and not too many uh, complicated riffs so, um, um, and we have chosen the songs that we felt would translate well into this kind of setting um, just to, to have a, a nice flow to everything yeah. not being too technical just easy Right. Nice. Yeah. Great. And um, well, what you did with the uh, the Kings doing the the Tron and Tron was great. You know, people love it. Yeah. Uh, have you thought of doing something like this in the future, or doing something like this with another of your albums, which you already recorded? Um, no, I think this is uh, works perfect as a one-off thing. Um, I don't think I want to do make it a tradition because it's just too much work. Right. Uh, I'm glad that we did it with this one. It. Uh, it worked out really well, but I think for the next album, we're just going to do an album. Exactly, not yeah. uh, doing like a routine. No, no. Like that, you know? That's um, well, last week in an interview, I saw that Trent Reznor from Matching Nails said that uh, today's bands are like a uh, sort of way covert for not trying to do different stuff. Yeah. You no, know, you were one band that when you, when you started, you did different things or things in a different way. Yeah. So do you think that maybe music is too safe now? Sometimes, yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, I think um, people in general would um, be much better off if they um, tried something different from time to time, especially if you're in, uh, in music or, or something other, yeah. another creative, you know, so it's it's good to uh, challenge yourself, yeah. do something that you have never done before, but you want to try it yeah. instead of just playing it safe because it works. Exactly. Uh, so it's better to just step out of the comfort zone just a little bit and yeah. see what happens. Has it ever happened to you that uh, when in the process of doing a Catatonia album you thought, I think I already done that, like uh, playing a song and say, I think that I really 
already done this kind of stuff in a yeah, album. Yeah. yeah, it happens a lot, right? Especially when you are, we have more than 10 years in a band. Or yeah, something yeah, like yeah, that. totally. I mean, we throw away a lot of stuff that we come up with, which sounds good, but when we keep work, working on it, it's like, it's just too, uh, too similar to something we've done before. So we have to, I mean, we have our style, of course, so everything will be quite similar in a way. Yeah. But, uh, it's good to uh, tell yourself that uh, it's not working because this is yeah, too exactly. similar to something else or it's just too boring exactly. to be on an album. Yeah. And also these touring is always special, I thought, for you because not only doing the acoustic set because of you have new members, as you say, you, know, you, you just lost a, a drummer which was with you more than a decade. Yeah. So how is uh, the experience of playing with someone new right now? It's like <laughs> you have uh, hopes or yeah. Uh, that. I mean, it's it's uh, it's different not having Daniel on a tour yeah. because he's been with us for 15 years, and um, I think now when we have it's just a percussion player. Yeah. He's doing shakers and a small drum, so it's not like um, like the usual Daniel drumming. So it's different anyway, but uh, I think when we start playing the, the normal sort of set, yeah. with which we have another drummer coming in, uh, that's going to be a bit difficult, uh, different uh, yeah. because of being so used to have that. Really. Exactly. Um, you know, Catatonia is a very well-known band in, in their own style, doing what you do. Yeah. Um, but in some sort, of, in some point of your career, you must like uh, feel like. Uh, you were big now, so which was for you the breaking point in your career with Catatonia? Uh, when you said, I think we, we, we made it, not in like a Senior Records, but... Uh, yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Um, I think it started with doing the last Red Eagle Down album. Yeah. Because we uh, really felt confident with the songwriting. Yeah. Up until then, we had just... We were happy with the albums, but... I think it really clicked with Let's Play Demon Down, and after that, it's just been getting better. Right. Yeah, for and me. And have you regret of any decision that you, that you did with Catatonia, like a musician? Not really. No. I mean, uh, no, I think even if we've made mistakes, it's yeah. a good thing because you learn something from them. Right. So, no, I'm, I'm not regretting that. Right. So, did you imagine staying with this band and doing six more records? Uh, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I mean, yeah, life changes a lot. Yeah, you know? yeah, it yeah. does totally. I want to keep doing this as long as I still think it's fun and, and yeah, and it gives something back to me. I don't want to do it if it just becomes a routine. So yeah. uh, we'll see what happens. With you as a musician, did you ever have the hunger to to try different things that you think that was not suitable for Catatonia and try to do a different project? Or? Or do you have you don't have that need? No, because what we talked about earlier yeah. uh, about trying new stuff. I yeah. think even if I wanted to do something different, I want to incorporate in Catatonia instead right. to make Catatonia different. So yeah. uh, that's how we work, you know. Right. Uh, people is always asking if I want to do a solo album. Yeah. But I definitely don't have a need to do that because I'm so happy with what we're doing. Catatonia. It's it's always different ideas. Yeah. coming together and, and so right now I'm very happy with the band. Right, and this tour, which you are doing the acoustic tour, are you planning to take it, this tour to south of Europe or other parts of Europe? Um, not at the moment, I mean, uh, I would love to do it, but... Uh, Maybe it just works for this kind of audience or... I don't know, know. it's just a short tour, uh, we booked it to be a short one, because yeah. we have uh, so many other things going on. I mean, after this tour is finished, we're gonna just go home and write music so, for the next album. Yeah. So it's uh, it's still busy, you know. Mm -hmm. Even though we've not been doing an album for a long time, but you know, it's still keeping busy. Exactly. I'm talking about new album. Do you have any ideas of a sketch of songs, or do you just want to um, give your mind on tour and then when you are home? You yeah. Want to exactly. Yeah. Them? I mean, I have few ideas. Uh, I'm sure Anders has a few ideas as well, but we haven't really started looking into it. Uh, we want some peace of mind, no touring uh, yeah. plans and just focus on it. Exactly. A couple of years ago you played in this festival in Madrid, which is uh, Madrid is the Dark, yeah. and then you have a show in, in Barcelona, but you cancelled. So 
Barcelona is really expecting to see. Yeah, you. I know, I know. Yeah. We want to go there. You should uh, schedule something in Barcelona. Yes, too, definitely. You know? definitely. <laughs> I know, I know. It's, it's bugging us still, you know. <laughs> we, we hate cancelling shows, yeah. but sometimes it's out of your control. And exactly. We really want to make it up to you. Um, you know, the, uh, it's a question that I always ask to musicians because uh, the Catatonia music is really moody and dark, you know, and I relate it to the, the place where the musicians come from. Like, for example, if they come from Finland or Norway or Sweden, and the cold, and, yeah. you know, do you think that affects in, in the way you create music? Yeah, I think so, because this is something I've asked myself yeah. before. And I think it's in the whole environment in Scandinavia and Sweden for, for me. Um, it's kind of, it's quite a big country, but not many inhabitants. And so it's kind of a desolate barren. Yeah. Um, we also have uh, the sort of traditional folk music from Sweden yeah. and Scandinavia is very, uh, Dark and depressive, so it's uh, in like a heritage of that as well. I think. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it's cold and dark. Yeah. Everything. Is just... um, well, when you break with Catania, like uh, in, the, in the music field, was something different. That was uh, what people like about the band, you know. And now you have in the past long, a lot of years. Do you think that there is another band right now that uh, are coming out? In the music scene now that makes different music as you did when you when you came out. Uh, I'm sure there are bands like that. Yeah. Um, just off the top of my head, I can't really um, uh, come up with something. Yeah. Um, well, the last question is to finish the interview. You know, uh, musicians normally have uh, more good memories about their careers and everything, but as as everything, there is sad days. Which is the saddest day you remember in uh, Catatonia? Uh, wow. Uh, I think um, when the brothers left the band, the Norman brothers. Yeah. That was a sad day, and also um, uh, now that Daniel yeah. uh, quit the band, it's also. Yeah. I think it's those uh, also Parry, the guitar player. Yeah. Uh, when, so when people you feel like family yeah, you yeah. leave it's, the band, you know? It's difficult. Yeah. Totally. Right. Yeah. Well, well, thank you so much for your time and for this and good to see you now playing. Yeah. Okay? Cheers. Thank all you. All right, and thank you for your time. No problem. All right? No problem at all. Okay. Can and we take a show? picture with yeah. you? Yeah.